Hi friends, today we are going to read a book called The Story of Ferdinand. The author is Monroe Leaf and the drawings are by Robert Lawson. Once upon a time in Spain, which is a country in Europe, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. Look how cute he is. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It looks very quiet over under that tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother even though she was a cow she let him just sit there and be happy she doesn't look too happy though does she as the years went by Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and very strong look how big and strong he looks and this was how, how big he was when he was little. And look at, look at that bird. What kind of bird do you think that is? It's a vulture. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Madrid is a city in Spain. And what do you think a bullfight is? Look at this picture. Hmm. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Look at these hats. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Uh-oh. Well. If you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? What would you do? You would sting him. 
And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at his face. How, how do you think he's feeling? I think he looks surprised. I would be surprised too if I saw him a bumblebee. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, budding and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. I would probably do the same thing if I were a bull and I sat on a bee. What about you? I bet you that hurt. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Look how look how happy these guys are. This one's dancing. But look at poor Ferdinand. I think he is still surprised and, and hurt. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Aww. Look how sad Ferdinand looks in the cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And look at all the people in the streets. And hanging out the windows. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. It's kind of hard to see, but here's one lady here with flowers in her hair. And a lady here. There's a lady here, a lady right here, and a lady right here. Look at all the flowers they have in their, here, their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderieros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bowl and make him mad. Oh. That makes me sad. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bowl and make him madder. That's not very nice. I don't like that. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. That is not very nice. Then came the bull and you know who that was, don't you? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the band banderieros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Look how scared they are. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Oh, he's right down here. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce, no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the banderieros were mad, and the picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. Look, he's throwing a temper tantrum. Stomping the ground. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Look at his face there. Look 
think he's confused. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end.